My name is Bernard Bett. I work here at the International Livestock Research Institute as a research scientist. I'm basically focusing on epidemiology of zoonotic uh, diseases and I've been here for the last 10 years or so. And um, in our work, of course, you remember epidemiology has to capture various facets of disease transmission and it has been very interesting to include multiple aspects including gender in our work and when we started including gender especially when looking at um, drivers of diseases we realized women really give you very detailed information on how processes occur or how things um, how they get exposed to high risk um, situations so I give you an example we had a project in Tana River looking at how irrigation um, enhances the transmission of vector bone, specifically mosquito bone diseases. And going through the activity patterns of uh, men and women in the community, women were giving us much more detailed information on how they start their day's activities, when they go to the farm, when they go to fetch water. And it was really nice for us to connect those pieces and see which instances lead to more mosquito-human interactions. And so that really helped in developing what we are calling um, agent-based uh, transmission dynamics for diseases. So that's one. The second one was um, working in northern Kenya. That's um, in Isiola and Marsabit, trying to understand um, um, antimicrobial resistance in milk, finding bacteria in milk which are resistant to anti antibiotics. And because women are the ones who do the milking, it was really quite um, good ex experience for us to get that information on when they realized the animals were sick, which treatments they had given the animals, and when the animals they were milking had reduced their milk production because of infections. And so if you analyze all this information, you realize with that detailed information, we can get good metadata for, 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 for analyzing where do bacteria or resistance are likely to come from uh, because of either use of antibiotics or uh, contamination from the environment. So those are, uh, the, I can say the experiences I've had are very much biased towards data collection. And so I can say we have been more extractive in terms of looking at gender roles. But what we are thinking about now doing is um, enhancing disease surveillance using information we get from women and especially tying in for brucellosis surveillance in these areas because we know women are the ones who would be the, get the first hand information on when cattle reduce milk production or a member of their family falls sick maybe with headache or um, such instances can be used to initiate or to develop that um, uh, surveillance within human animal interfaces to help help in management of zoonotic diseases. Most of the work we have done thus far has very much been descriptive and I'm really hoping that you know we go much more and do much more deeper analysis on how gender contributes to our research and development agenda. In addition to finding better ways of analyzing data, we should also find ways in which we can use information generated to help women and to develop, uh, find ways of incorporating, involving them in more development-oriented interventions.